Danny here for another Tough Love Tuesday. Um, if you haven't heard yet, I mean, I'm having so much fun. This week is such a big week for me because the Quit Sugar Summit is live. And actually, in fact, my interview goes live today. So I hope that you're all registered and you're coming, uh, if nothing else, just to listen to my interview. Um, and I'm so excited to, um, to jump in and we've, we're getting some amazing new members here in this community this week, which is so exciting. Uh, Mike and I uh, at the summit, we often joke about breaking the internet and literally right before jumping in on this live, uh, my computer's not working. <laughs> really, I like the internet's not working. I'm in the middle of uh, trying to restart my computer as we speak, so I'm on my phone, which I'm normally on my computer filming these uh, these segments, but I, I definitely didn't want to be late. So thank goodness I have my phone as backup and I can jump in here and um, share some more tough love with you guys. And I'm, I'm trying to, you know, every every week when I come in and kind of share this, this tough love, I do try to think of uh, topics that really apply with what's going on in the world right now or my life right now or just intuitively what you need to hear right now. And I think with the summit going on and, and you know, all of my brain power going towards the summit, um, you know, there's, there's one topic that's really... Um, standing out for me today. So this is going to be our tough love for the day. And the good news is this tough love, unlike some of the other ones in the previous weeks, has a really uh, great message and silver lining for, for you as well. Um, and I'm hoping that this just fires you up and inspires you. And I know that you're getting this message uh, if you're following along with the Quit Sugar Summit already. You're hearing this from lots of other experts. But just in case you're not hearing this, uh, I want to share it here. So uh, here's the tough love, okay? Well, I don't know if it's tough love or a tough truth, okay? Here's a tough truth today for all of you is that there is a multi-billion dollar industry that wants nothing more than for you to stay addicted to sugar and for you to stay addicted to food. And when I realized this for myself, it was monumentous and eye-opening and it really fueled my my resolve to get a handle on my my addictions around food and sugar and my relationship with food and sugar so this silver lining the amazing message in this for all of you and the exciting piece of this is because when you start to realize what the industry is actually doing to us at a cellular brain level and you can hear this in scientific details and all of the research that's been done by a lot of our experts on the summit um, but you know when we realize that we can stop blaming ourselves so I'm willing to bet right now, you know, and I used to do this too, you're putting some of this blame on yourself. You know, it's my fault that I can't seem to get off of sugar. What's wrong with me? We start forming these beliefs that there's something wrong with us, that we need fixing, that our bodies are broken. And it's so sad and it really breaks my heart because, and makes me angry at the same time because this is so far from the truth. Each of us are brought onto this earth perfect as we are. And, you know, there is nothing wrong with our bodies. There is nothing wrong with our taste buds, you know, and our desires for food. And there is an industry that spends billions of dollars literally putting people in MRI machines to discover the magic point at which the sweetness in a food spikes your dopamine levels and your brain chemicals at the right way to keep you addicted. Like there are actual studies, you know, by Coca-Cola and other huge food industry that are actually testing how they can keep you more addicted to their food, to their food, that's quotation marks. Um, and it's infuriating and it's scary, but it's also, I want you to take that and use that as, as um, something to fire you up in making the changes that you need to make in your life and, and to begin to realize that it's not your fault. So this is an exciting part of this message because it is not your fault. Whatever you're struggling with right now with food, you know, if you can't seem to give up coffee or, you know, you can't seem to give up those granola bars or your, your, you know, juice in the morning or, you know, all these other things that are sneaking into your life or you just can't seem to get a handle on sugar. Um, you're not alone, obviously, because this industry, the food industry has actually been designed to keep us addicted. Um, obviously, if we're addicted to something, we're going to buy more of it and we're going to keep coming back, keep coming back, spending our money. On, on that product and that's how the business works it is a business the food industry is no longer just farmers bringing good wholesome food to you it is a whole industry that is also at the next level and we're not gonna get too po political but it's really important for you to know that at the same level there's a partnership with the pharmaceutical industry because when we eat ourselves to sickness with these products that we're being you know addicted to we, um, there's a whole industry that loves coming in with the magic pill to, to solve this for us, right? 
So I really just want you to start, I mean, the best thing that we can do for any of our lives is to ask questions and question who's doing the research, where's this coming from, and understanding that there's a couple layers, if not hundreds of layers to this industry, you know, in terms of keeping us addicted to food that makes us sick. And then there's another industry that gets to come in and cure our sicknesses, right? They get to solve our problems, um, let alone even the some of the supplement uh, companies as well. So just being really careful of the biases that are behind any advertisements that you see. Uh, and this is just really important to look through a different lens and not put your whole trust and your responsibility for your own health in the hands of people who are making a profit from it. Um, and use that information to fire you up because you can absolutely make better choices, better decisions. You can start cooking for yourself, whether it's just learning one recipe at a time um, and you can start to make better choices. Not, not saying all food, uh, food uh, manufacturers are, you know, in this, in this uh, naughty, on the naughty list. Um, there are lots of companies out there doing amazing things, okay? So don't, don't misread that, but there is at a grander scale, a really big epidemic going on and it's important for you to know about it. Um, and that's some tough truth for you to really soak in with that. When I learned about that, it was, it fired me up. And that's what I want it to do for you, to fire you up, use that anger. If there's any coming up, do your research, watch any of the sugar documentaries on Netflix and you'll, you'll hear the same message spread. Do your own research, ask your own questions. And most importantly, do not fall for, um, claims, right? Any marketing claim or nutritional claim, if it has a claim on its box, or package, it's probably not good for you. A carrot doesn't need to tell you high in vitamin C and vitamin A and fiber, right? A carrot doesn't need to, real food doesn't need to shout that out to you. It's the fake stuff that does. And especially, you know, in the world of sugar, you know, anything that says sugar-free, by the way, is probably using artificial sweeteners, which are just as toxic for you, or trans fats, other things. So when you're seeing claims on a box, let that be a red flag for you and to start doing your own research. Uh, okay, not to say all packaged stuff is bad. There are some decent things out there, but just I want you as a generalization to start label reading, start really taking your power back and, and understanding the role of the industry um, in this and in you know any of the, the troubles or the, the challenges that you're struggling with with food right now, okay? And, um, and take your power back with that. Know that there's nothing wrong with you. This is the good news of today's tough love truth, I guess. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you, okay? You're not broken, you didn't do it wrong. It's not that you just weren't born with willpower. There is something a lot bigger than you at play. And as sooner that we realize that and let go of those horrible beliefs about ourselves, we can start to step into our power and start to take control over choosing what we eat, choosing to cook uh, and making those better decisions. So. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in live with me here. This has been so much fun. And again, welcome to all of our newest members in the group. This is so great seeing some new people join us. And uh, please jump in, introduce yourself. And obviously, let me know below, you know, um, what's coming up for you after watching this Tough Love Tuesday. I would love, always love hearing your comments, your questions uh, below this video. And uh, I can't wait to see you again next week. And obviously, if you're following along with the Quit Sugar Summit, you're seeing a lot of me this week. And uh, like I said, my interview is up live today for 24 hours for free. So uh, don't forget to come over and watch that and let me know what you think. I would love that. All right, everyone. We'll see you again next week. Bye.